Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Lee Place here. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Factions on the Cosmic PvP server. Hopefully, you guys are having a beautiful day. And as you can see, we're in Enigma, and I kind of want to explain what happened between last episode and this episode. So, guys, I did something that everybody hates on every single faction server. I incited. That's right, I incited. For the first time ever, I incited a faction. Now, it was Omystic. I incited Omystic. He was my leader. And I, um, it kind of sounds weird, but I, he was the leader of my faction, and I incited him for 12, no, 13 blazes and 2 IGs. It's a lot of stuff. So the reason why I did this, basically, is because, the reason behind it is because on Mystic, I don't know, I just kept getting tired of it, you know, every time we made a base, we got raided, and Enigma stays really solid, they haven't gotten raided once yet, and uh, the only time they gotten raided was once, I think, no, twice, once on Forgotten, I think, that's it. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but I, that's what I recall. So basically, um, I really liked Enigma, and what happened was, we were in Enigma last episode, Careless Place inside of Enigma, and I didn't like it at all. I was like, dude, that's, it's such a good faction, why'd you inside him? And he was just like, because now we have everything to ourselves, and everything like that. And I was like, dude, that's kind of stupid. So I decided to inside Old Mystic and come back to Enigma and set things right. So I thought it was the right decision, and I did it. You know, it's factions, dude. You gotta do what you gotta do on factions. You know, it's not always just, you know, flowers and happiness, and uh, it's not always like that. Sometimes you have to do, you know, the mean stuff, and that's inciting, and that's what I had to do. I mean, I didn't have to do it, but I decided to do it, and I thought it was a good decision. And a bunch of people went with me. Uh, one, three of my friends went with me from the old faction. We actually enemied everybody at who. Oh, um, crucial. That was the faction. And I don't think it's not even alive. Yep, it's not even alive. It got disbanded. So, we enemied everybody and everything like that. But anyways, I did some grinding earlier. Yesterday, actually. Did a little bit of a book opening without recording. I'm very sorry. It was just like a, you know, 20k XP opening of ultra, or no, rares. And I got some books. I got two amazing books. The second book wasn't that good, but the first book was actually insane. The first book, book was a Double Strike 3 book, 85 success and 85 destruction. And I beefed it up to 100 success and applied that to my sword. And also, I bought a, I bought a Demon Forge 4 book, as I showed you last episode. Applied that on there. Look at that baby, dude. It looks amazing. Demon Forge 4, Double Strike 3, Lifesteal 4. Oh, so good it's kind of like an attacking sword it doesn't have trap on it it's an attacking sword it has all the attack and chance on it i'm gonna get rage six on it that's what i need rage six or rage five either way i'll take it but uh, anyways that's kind of my god sword so far the entire set is going pretty well i kind of switched out my leggings tell me what you guys want to do do you guys want me to start on this or do you guys want me to start this because i'm wondering if i should start fresh on the wither five or should i do this i'm honestly not sure so tell me in the comment section below this or this I'm bad leggings or the wither five leggings the boots are kind of nice I mean I applied hardened three on it a long time ago I need to get grinding I the reason why my god set hasn't been completed yet um, is because I haven't been able to just sit down and grind and work on it I've never been able to because we've gotten raided or inside or blah 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 and I was tired of it so I was like you know what I'm coming back to Enigma, and I came back, and we haven't gotten raided or anything, and I'm really happy about it. So, and it's been going super well. So, yeah, that's that's kind of what happened in that week span. Also, people um, remix one of my old friends. He actually um, gave me all his levels for stuff. So, actually, as you can see here, I have 422 disarm, which is insane. So, I can disarm people anyone below 422. Which is awesome and he gave me some sword levels so I have 556 levels of swords that's insane for me I'm a merchant so I think if I just used the levels that I had as a merchant I would have had only like I don't know 200 300 I don't know how much but like that's like a 200 increase or 300 increase which is insane so uh, that's pretty pretty awesome so we're gonna go to frozen here I'm not sure when the envoy happened actually let me go check that spawn Go spawn here and go see what is going on. Blaze Grinder over here in Nepal's is Naples is going at it. As I said it wrong, 
It's been nine minutes. Are you kidding me? So we're gonna have to wait a freaking long time. We're gonna go to Frozen, see who there is. See if we can disarm this someone this episode, guys. I've been trying to disarm someone. I've disarmed a couple people, but I haven't been able to pick up their stuff. <laughs> like I disarmed them, but they picked it back up and it really sucks. Cause I really want to disarm someone and it's just you know, it just sucks because I can't disarm anyone, so this guy truce with me. And I don't Oh man, I have do I have oh I have gaffle sickness. Alright, uh is this guy gonna fall? Oh my god, this looks so trippy. Alright, this guy is using a diamond sword, so he does not have sharpness, which is ooh. Alright, he pearls. Let's pearl with him. See where he's going. Let's catch up to him here. He has gears three, I've noticed. I only have gears two. Come here. I hit him once. He's going to his derp as well. And he has a 31 hearts? Yeah, he does. Alright. Uh, he's going to go to his derp, which is a bummer, obviously. Wait, where is he? Oh, yeah, he is. Come here. Alright, here we go, here we go. It's actually a pretty good fight. I mean, it's not that even. Saying that he doesn't have sharpness on it, and he's actually wrecking me right now. And it is lagging like a crap ton here. Oh my. Gonna splash down a. Where is he? Oh, he's right here. Oh god. Yeah, he's running. Alright. I'll run too, dude. I'll definitely run too. So is he following me? No, he's not. All right, cool. PB3, I, I definitely need more end pearls, actually. All right. We are... What the hell? Oh, I thought there was a chest down here. From <laughs> the envoy, and I was like, what? That would have been kind of weird, actually. Hold on a second. I did not... <gasps> One second, guys. I need to slash fix my gear. Hopefully no one is... Here right now, fix my gear. The splash bot or a potion of healing. I'm actually gonna go see who that guy was. So I should inspect cheeky. There it was. Let me get close to him. There we go. I got him. On arm is eleven, boys. We're gonna unarm his sword here. Oh man, nice guy. Give me your sword, boy. Got a gap real quick. Oh no, this guy's actually. Who's this guy? I need to back up from him. Just inspect dramatic light. Let me get close to him, actually. Where is he? I need to see the disarm on him. Dude, I. Where's my obby shield? I need an obby shield now. And I have gap. God, the trippiness, dude. This is so bad, and it's freaking five seconds. PV1, and do I have any G kit items that I could use? I think I died with my only G kit helmet. Or my G kit stuff. This is the only thing that has obby shield. Let's see if anything's under 100k. In the age for obby shield. Like, come on. No. Alright, I guess not. Alright. Wait. That could be a G kit helmet. And it's not. Alright, PV1. Let's see here. Is there any Obsidian Shield 1? PV4. No. PV3. So Interpol PV6. Oh, yeah. This kid actually died. I actually got his stuff. He had a knockback 5 on him and I died with it. Oh, I was so mad, dude. I was so fudging mad. PV5, here we go. Oh my. Alright, we're gonna have to live with, um. With the, uh. Let's see here. So, we don't know. Alright, there we go. Dynamic light. Nope, this kid. Right, we're gonna get us. Come here, dude. Give me your sword. 
Did I just, just oh, I thought I disarmed him. Wait. Oh no. Damn I like Yes, I got him. 22 at Give me your X. Oh, wow. these guys are some booty cheeks, dude. You can't disarm me, dude. You can't disarm me, man. Yeah, these guys are smart about their losing their sword. I want to disarm him so bad, yo. Oh, man, these guys are some booties. These guys are some butts. They will not let me disarm them. It's okay. It's okay. I'll try to get them. We got. We got to pull off a strat here. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> no, don't fist me, bro. Ooh. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Four hundred twenty-two disarm to eleven. Like honestly, and twenty-two. Like what? Dude, your fist hurts. What in the world? All right, give me your sword, dude. I, I need to inspect it. These guys are fudging with me. Give me your speed pots. <laughs> give me your speed pots, dude. Dude, this kid's fist hurts, yo. What the hell? All right, this is a fist war here. Gapple up. Let's gapple up here. Get swords out. Oh my god, there's so many. Give me your sword, dude. Give me your sword, man. You freaking cheeky man. Oh man, he's going. Oh, he's following me with his fist. Get the fudge away, dude. Get the fudge away and. Ooh, this kid's running. Oh, switch. Boom, 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 boom. Oh! Oh! Easy disarm! Easy to storm. Oh, easy to storm. <laughs> Ease. Easy to storm, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. What a rush. Oh, it's a pretty, it's pretty poopy axe. That poopy axe. It's a pretty poop axe, but, you know. Still. Pretty awesome. Oh, my first ever disarm, dude. That is insane, man. That I was like, I saw it fall, and I was like, oh, GG. <laughs> I got it. Boom, baby. That is how you disarm someone, bro. Now, this guy is all that's left. He saw that disarm. He saw me disarm that kid. Now I'm going to disarm. What is he doing, dude? He's jumping all around like a kangaroo man. Come here, dude. Ooh, ooh. Give me your sword. Give me your sword. Ooh. Dang, dude. And he's fisting. Come here, dude. Look at him, dude. He's not even here anymore. That one guy. Oh, he was like, oops. And he just got disarmed. Picked up his axe. Boom. If he had something amazing on him, dude, that would have been amazing. But yeah, guys. That will wrap up this episode. I believe so. Disarming someone in PvP combat. That is pretty insane. My first ever disarm. It's awesome that it's my first disarm but it's terrible because the sword the axe is terrible it's a blessed one and i mean i thought he actually he hurt to me and but because i'm wearing complete trash so that is obviously why but anyways hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode if you did make sure to just subscribe if you're new and like the video if you guys liked it and like the disarm that i just disarmed that kid but anyways i will see you guys later have a beautiful day Stay healthy and goodbye.